continuation of the integrated functions of shoulder complex. So, the role of serratus anterior muscle is in normal shoulder function appears to be essential in producing simultaneous scapular upward rotation, posterior tipping and external rotation. So, serratus anterior muscle has to play the major role to produce scapular upward rotation by and also with that posterior tipping and external rotation of scapula. The rhomboid muscle function. The rhomboid major and minor muscles are active in elevation of the arm, especially in abduction. These muscles serve these muscles serve a critical function at, as stabilizing synergists to the muscle that upwardly rotate the scapula. They are the stabilizing muscle for upward rotation of the scapula. If the rhomboids, you know that the already we have discussed the muscle producing upward rotation that is the upper and lower uh, trapezius and the serratus anterior muscle. So the rhomboids plays as a stabilizing synergist for the upward rotation of scapula. If the rhomboids downward rotators are, they are also the downward rotators are active during upward rotation of scapula. These muscles are acting as eccentrically control, eccentrically acting to control the change in position of the scapula produced by the trapezius and serratus and the muscle. Paralysis of these muscles causes disruption of the normal scapulohumeral rhythm that is to that is what is scapulohumeral rhythm? Two degree of uh, uh, humeral motion uh, will have one degree of scapular motion. So if the uh, rhomboids are affected also the scapulohumeral rhythm will be affected. Now we are going to the next uh, topic and almost we are coming to the completion of the shoulder complex which is a very large chapter and we are coming to the completion this muscle the muscles of depression of shoulder, com shoulder complex. Depression is the second of the two primary patterns of shoulder complex function. Depression involves the forceful downward movement of the arm in relation to that trunk which are the major latissimus muscles, latissimus dorsi and pectoral muscles, they function as the muscles of depression of the shoulder complex. When the upper extremity is free to move in space, latissimus dorsi muscle may produce adduction, extension or medial rotation of the humerus. It's actually uh, or not or and your right hand. So, Whenever the upper extremity is free to move, the latissimus dorsi produces adduction, extension, and medial rotation of the humerus through its attachment to both the scapula and humerus. Because the latissimus dorsi muscle has it's a large muscle, latissimus dorsi in the back, and through its attachment to both scapula as well as humerus, they can produce a adduction, extension, and medial rotation of the humerus, and also to stabilize the uh, you know, uh, scapula and what uh, the latissimus dorsi can also adduct and depress the scapula and the shoulder complex. Usually, the function we uh, you know always think about latissimus dorsi is a role in in, uh, in the humerus, but along with that, the latissimus dorsi can adduct, depress the scapula along with the shoulder complex. So it has a role on the humerus as well as on the scapula. Regarding the pectoralis major muscle, the clavicular portion uh, of the, you know that the uh, pectoralis major, major has a sternal portion and the clavicular portion. So here we are talking about the clavicular portion of the pectoralis major muscle can assist the deltoid in flexion of the glenohumeral joint. But the sternal and abdominal portions, the abdominal portions are the minor portions, uh, major portions are the sternal clavicular and the abdominal portions are primary depressors of the shoulder complex. The pectoralis muscle we all as we all know is a, uh, it's a flexor of the uh, shoulder that is a, it flexes the humerus and uh, uh, but the sternal and abdominal portion that is a clavicular part but the sternal and abdominal parts are primary depressors of shoulder complex. Now other muscles to not to forget is that there is uh, the role played by the combination of teres major and 
rhomboid muscle, how they function. The teres major muscle, like the, di the latissimus dorsi muscle, adducts and medial. You know that uh, teres major muscle is a med the medial rotator, and uh, most of the time uh, you can see the uh, you know this muscle has to be strengthened because it also has a ro role to play in the you know uh, stability of the humerus in the glenohumeral joint. The teres major muscle, like the latissimus dorsi, adducts medial rotator and extends the extends the humerus. Functions of teres major is strongly dependent upon the activity of rhomboid muscle. If the rhomboid muscle is not functioning, teres major cannot function because the rhomboid muscle has to stabilize the scapula so that the uh, the teres major has a enough uh, moment, momentum to act on the humerus to produce all the above side actions which are adduction, medial rotation and extension of the humerus which is same as like the latissimus dorsi but latissimus dorsi does not require that uh, because it's it has a larger ma it is a larger muscle uh, the, the largest muscle one of the largest muscle itself on the back so dear students we have come to conclusion of the big chapter shoulder complex i uh, if at all there is any doubt regarding the uh, class you can please uh, send your comments and uh, i will be clarifying that through another youtube videos or you need any further explanation or because this we uh, the scope of this lecture is only for the first year uh BP, bachelor of physiotherapy students so if you want further any uh, you know uh, doubts you or further you need to explain uh, more explanation please convey it through your comments thank you